he was doing things that were very similar. Okay. And it was like, yo, this character is real? But forget about that realness. Let's go directly into game one. Master Mario versus Wadi. This looks like a button check. Forget yep. that. <laughs> yeah. well, we'll see how these go, uh, this match goes. Uh, Master Mario actually really on the come up. He's really always been in like the 15 to 20 range on the PRs. But he's been on the come up recently. I think he's taking out Nico like twice or three times in bracket so far. And it was try hard sets. It wasn't even like, um, it wasn't even um, secondary sets or anything like that. Master Mario like beat Nico legit. And he's uh, number three on our PR set right Don't now. Don't forget so. that he actually had an amazing run at EVO as well, placing oh, yeah. in the 30s. Best, best placing Mario at EVO, I believe. He, he beat Dark Wizzy. <laughs> he did beat Dark Wizzy. Who is pretty much known as the, the best Mario uh, that we have right now. So. Oh, we'll have to see. Master Mario definitely on to come up. You guys should definitely um, keep an eye out for him. He's going to go big and go far. That's right. So if you're a big fan of like high-level Mario, you should tune into our streams more often because this kid, uh, he definitely grinds really hard, and he, he attends multiple oh. tournaments. Alrighty, let's go ahead and see. Yeah, I wonder. Uh, yeah, Wadi, he's gonna go to the Rob, the Bumblebee oh, color for sure. Rob. There's, yeah. there's no debate about what character Wadi is going to start. Yes, he has a weak hit trainer. Yes, he has a Mewtwo. But when it comes to game one and a best of five, it's best to start. With, put your best foot forward. Yeah. Let's see how this goes down, though. I feel like Mario can do pretty well against Rob, uh, all things considered. He's got I a mean, lot of good combos against his character. I mean, one thing to, to just keep in mind, remember when Zenyu was, like, one of our top Marios? Yes. This is the character he would practice against. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it might just be an indication of, like, what exactly Mario can do to this character. Ooh. A little bit too heavy for that low percent up airs to come all into a forward air. But uh, Master Mario definitely showing his cards about what he's definitely going to be trying to go for. Oh. Okay, yeah. I thought. I guess he thought he could reach the ledge, but not quite. But that was great pressure from Wadi to make him elicit an option regardless. So. Okay, send that laser right back to Wadi. That angle, you know, no one's going to be there to catch it. I like what Wadi's doing so far. Even though Mario has a really good combo against Rob, he's using his projectiles and his very fast fair in the air-to-air -to, -air to make sure that Master Mario feels too pressured to really actually try and start whatever he wants. So he's suffocating Master Mario, make sure he doesn't have the space, doesn't have the room to actually do what he wants. So I know Wadi's, or excuse me, Rob is kind of a zoner character because he has all those projectiles that are very strong, but he's very good in air-to-air -air still, and he's very good at boxing because of that fair. It's such a strong soul that I think more Rob should utilize. Not only is he good at air-to-air, -air, but he's also good at landing on his opponent because as you can see, Master Mario has been having a lot of difficulties just dealing with it in general. Now, I did have an opportunity to hear over here a uh, conversation he was having with Larry Lur, and the advice that Larry Lur gave him when he comes to this exact matchup against Wadi is to walk more. So let's see if Master Mario is able to actually utilize that advice so he can deal with Nair and try and get those parries. If we are able to parry in there, guess what? It is free reign. It is custom combo time. It is time to go in. All right, back throw. Yeah, just keep up that control. What's the light shot going to be? Okay, where is the light shot going to be? Okay. Yeah. Really good payback from Wadi. Make sure he didn't drift into Master Mario so that he didn't get caught by an out of shield option. If he did a jump there, Big Frog would have been able to take the stock, but he was looking for that up match. I mean, it's, very, it's always sort of difficult to tell, like especially with like heavy characters, what is going to actually take the stock and what isn't. But directional air dodge is used. That's going to be able to make it back. But Anair is going to secure that kill. 145 on Wadi is still sitting on his first stock. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Gets that back air. Finally going to be able to take it. But still, a whole stock that he has to work with to try and bring it back to even. Okay, I thought that up air was actually so delayed that it was actually going to connect with the gyro. We did see the death sparks there, but I doubt that's going to actually kill. But no jump on Master Mario. Did yeah, the game know? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, he doesn't have a jump. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, <laughs> GG, this is over. <laughs> Damn. Man, just gyro drop into side B, and I killed at like 70. At the end of it. That's crazy, man. That is the, that is the level of play I expect when it comes from Wadi. Like, you know, one of the best raw, raw players yeah. in this game. Definitely. I think we're glad he's back to traveling. The last couple of majors, he couldn't quite make it to them because of health issues. But he's definitely back at it now, and he's definitely doing a great job so far. Okay, let's see. Let's see if play gonna Okay, just jump fair. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Just converting right into that up air. As you can see, like, Rock. Wadi is always keeping like a specific distance from his opponent to make sure that he can always box out with either a forward air or an air. 
being a little bit more careful now. You saw he even tried to dr drift back at the end when he knew the fireball wasn't coming back properly, but didn't quite commit, and so Wadi was able to take advantage of it. Okay, fireball into up air, and that's going to lead to some good damage onto Wadi. 76%, but grabbing the gyro and forward air at the same time. Down tilt into down smash. Not enough to take the stock, but that's going to put Mass Mario in a horrible position. Yeah, that was good tech chase. He just knew where he was going to be afterwards. Didn't even tech afterwards. Ooh, snipe with the laser. Not quite sealing off the stock yet, so Master Mario as well has a chance to try and take back the lead here, but we're going to have to see. Oh, he tried to use the cape to really spin around the, the Nair, but unfortunately, because the Nair just hits all around of Wadi, it's not going to be really effective. Oh, boy. Yeah, that up throw, of course, when Rob's having a harder time killing at the 160-ish range, you can still finish it off with the up throw. And again, another combo. Pulling out some more damage. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Every time Master Mario tries to go in the air, he just beats him out with a fair. It comes out so quickly. It's like it's hard to really know what to expect when it comes out. Yeah, but at the same time, as soon as he like does enter Wadi's like danger zone, Wadi's throwing out Nair. And if Master Mario's in the air already and he committed to an option, he's getting hit. Yeah. I mean, let's, he really does need to, in fact, commit to just walking more often and trying getting these fairies, getting these out of shield options to connect onto Wadi. Okay, back here, finally gonna be able to do it. But still, 81%. Oh, wow. Might actually lose the stock very soon if it keeps up. I don't think he has a jump. Yeah, directional air dodge. But he's gonna make it back just fine. Okay, side B out onto the shield, and that's gonna be a good amount of shield pressure, but only an up throw, but no conversion from yeah. Master Mario. I really like that. He DI'd inward because he knew, okay, he's gonna go for a combo, obviously, at the percent. So I'm just gonna DI in, just go towards the edge of the stage, and Master Mario's not gonna expect it. Very nice stuff. Okay, up air into Nair, getting the re grab. Here we go. Here are the Master Mario combos we come to love, but. Not enough to actually kill on Pokemon Stadium against Rob. Yeah, he was like a centimeter off on that if you saw the Blast Zone uh, map on the on the top of the screen. Ooh, I, I like the attempt with the cape. He was trying to bait out like a gyro or something, but not quite happening. Okay, using the fireball to cover his approach, but Master Mario not able to really get anything started. DIing the down smash, but an up throw is enough to take the stock. Master Mario finding himself on his last stock in game two. Up throw, or up air, up air. Yeah, sometimes at the ledge it's hard to find the right option at those higher percents. You just go for double up air and that's it. If the medium percents, you can wait for an air dodge to try to go for fair, but Master Mario not quite finding it yet. Yeah, Master Mario having a lot of difficulty just trying to get in on Wadi. Just staying in Wadi's face has been probably the most difficult challenge that he's had in this set. I think he's trying to, yeah, that's what he's looking for. Into the tech chase. Oh, okay. And he didn't get it, but then he waited for a shield drop and it still got it anyway. Sometimes you don't need the tech chase. Sometimes you just got to read your opponent. So confident. Which actually may be uh, a more devastating way to lose because you didn't, you weren't put in a situation where you just guessed wrong. I knew what you were going to do. That's what Wadi's saying. Yeah. Alrighty, Wadi going up 2 0. Master Mario, he, he's not being sauced, but he's not really. Uh, helping control the pace of the match either. He's kind of following Wadi's lead and Wadi's been taking the stocks every time. So, But we haven't seen him utilize the advice I received from Larry Lurk. He's not walking. He's not parrying the Nairs. Yep. Wario. Did I hear Wario? Uh, you did, in fact, not hear Wario. Okay. That is Mario. I thought I was hallucinating. I was like, no, no way. You were hallucinating. Okay, cool. It's Mario. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Just making sure. <laughs> Gyro combo? Not quite. It's still gonna land though. Yeah, and the gyro is in fact gone. We're gonna see a couple up airs in the net. Wow, he's able to convert it. Yep, falling up air to fair. The new Captain Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. We see him parrying the Nair. He may have just like remembered what the conversation he had earlier. Getting another parry. And just staying in this sort of danger zone, uh, really close to Wadi. Death. Oh yeah, I thought, I thought for sure he was gonna go for another fair. Not quite though. Still got an opportunity, but not quite. I think Wadi was also keen to it. It looked like he had a directional air dodge just in case that uh, Master Mario was in fact going to go for another fair. Yeah. All right. Oh, got beat out in the air to air again. Let's see how he lands back on the ground. Okay, he's trying to go for a cross up there, but he just lands right in front of Wadi. He's not exactly the position you want to be in. But with Wadi no access to his gyro, he's really only using the Nair. 
man, that's Mario got such a good first stock that even though he's been kind of getting zoned out, he still has that stock lead, so it's forcing Wadi to try and play a little bit more aggressively to try and get the stock. And Master Mario's able to get tick damage and just like crossfire damage because of it. We're gonna see a back throw from Master Mario. He's gonna take a little bit of opportunity to charge his flood a little. And what is the ledge trap going to be? Throwing out a down air, which does in fact last quite a bit, so I respect the, the choice, but it doesn't catch anything. Alright. Oh man, if it was strong back air, probably would have killed, but he got weak back air. But when you throw out a meaty hitbox like that, you get you gotta expect that sometimes you get the late hitbox instead. That's right, sending that laser right back, but Wadi not there to catch it. But now Wadi trying to take the stock off of Master Mario 130%, so he does have access to like a couple kill throws as well. Ooh, even taking a little bit of extra damage with the laser and sniping with the gyro. But at 177%, Master Mario himself is gonna be able to get that revenge kill. Yep. I have still with a full stock lead. That's, that first stock was really big for Master Mario. As long as he can flow with the lead, I think he's got a good shot at taking out Wadi. And I think one thing that Master Mario needs to keep in mind is that he does in fact have a- What the heck? What was, what was that angle, Sedge? I think for a moment he was like, oh man, I should really DI this combo out. And then Master Mario was like, psych! <laughs> Yo, did hit him with the biggest psych of that set. Did you see how far to the left he went? I thought he was going to hit the ledge or something. But I think Wadi thought that too. He was like, okay, I'll just hit the lip of the stage and then I'll tech or something. And then no, he just died. Yeah. I mean, even the launch that that, that forward air had, even if he was like sent on stage, it looked like that there should have been enough uh, lag where he was able to recover. Right. Yeah. It's crazy. Mario. Okay, well, Master Mario really bringing out those... Those Master Mario combos. You know, I used to call this man the wild card of Smash 4, or the wild card of SoCal, because you never really know when he's going to go for that falling up air into forward air. Yep. And that's right there, wild card coming out. Yeah. I, I blame, I, I, although I do admire Master Mario being able to land it, I blame Wadi more for his atrocious DI on that. <laughs> that was definitely bad. You should just kept the eye again at that point. <laughs> Okay, up tilt. Okay, he's making great use of these platforms on town and city. Yeah. Man, I just blinked. He's already at 89%. That's crazy. Yeah. Like I said, you know, Wadi has been kind of chasing Master Mario around. He's been trying to use the platforms to really recover or reset. Yeah. But Wadi using those to, in fact, trap Master Mario. Down throw? Up air? Ooh, that was very nice. Wow. The patience from Wadi. Mm -hmm. Knowing that directional air dodge was going to come out to try and dodge the, air, the up smash. He yeah. said, you know what, go ahead and dodge. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for you. Yeah, that weight was so immaculate. All right, we got another potential um, advantage state here. Nope, just going to reverse it. Okay, Fair? okay, okay. Okay, no. <laughs> I was looking for it, but not quite. Yeah, he didn't exactly find himself in a position where forward air was going to connect. He was able to put a good amount of damage on Mario, though, so, you know, Master Mario would definitely take that. Yeah, we just got to make sure that Master Mario doesn't lose his setup, because sometimes he's been having a hard time kill Wadi just on the rock, so we gotta see if he can maybe land an up smash or something, because uh, the falling forward air is probably not gonna work anymore. Interesting that Master Mario actually opted to throw the gyro at Wadi. I don't know if he was just unaware that he did catch the, the gyro. Uh -huh. but usually we see like players throwing it directly up just so that raw players don't have access to that gyro while it's in the air. Right. Ooh! Down tilt's good. How about you catch the super hot fire hands? Yeah, of course, Smash. Man, that's outrange the downside so easily. And Master Mario with a very quick reaction on that too. He's like, okay, double down to boom. Yeah, so able to even up the stocks, but as far as percents go, Master Mario still has a little bit more work to do. All right, he, he recognized that water wasn't gonna come down until the gyro was gone out of his hand. So he decided to toss, just toss it and hope for the best. Okay, Gina, more patience coming out, but no, immediately going for the up air. Okay, up throw, down air. Alright, the Mirror comes out, laser snipe. He's so good at landing them every time. Like, he doesn't even miss. Oh, oh wow. wow. Speaking of not missing, that gyro was on point. Yep. Score three for, for Wadi there. And yeah, putting Master Mario on what could be his winner's winner's side of stock. Alright, but not if Master oh. Mario has something to say about it. Oh, is he going oh. for it? Woo! He went deep for it, but of course, you know, Rob being able to convert uh to recover from so low. Yeah, and Wadi with those uh, with that up air with the arms, actually he's gonna be able to come back just fine. I thought he was gonna get like snared or bared or something instead, but not fine. Yeah, any other character may have been in trouble, but give him the spinny arms. 
And that's going to be 3-1 Wadi. Yeah. So I think the question was if Master Mario could get his fair